Welcome to the Sage Pastel Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process a stack take in Sage Pastel Accounting. You would process a stack take if you make use of inventory as it is important to ensure that the theoretical quantities in Sage Pastel Accounting match the physical quantities you have on hand. Please note, before the stock take is run, it is important to check all open batches that affect inventory quantities, i.e. your customer and supplier documents and inventory journals, to ensure that the quantities on these unupdated documents and journals have not affected your physical quantities on hand. Please also ensure that you have a valid backup of your company data set as a stock take cannot be reversed without a backup. To process a stock take in Sage Pastel Accounting, click on Process Count Inventory. You will receive a message to rebuild the batch quantities. Click on Yes. The Data Integrity Assistance screen will display with the option to rebuild batch quantities selected. Click Process. Once complete, click on Finish. The Count Inventory Assistance screen will display it will advise you that the first part of processing an inventory count is to take a snapshot of your inventory quantities at a specific point in time. Pastel then stores these quantities separately from all other quantities, and it is for this reason that we strongly advise that you stop processing for the time that it takes to process your stock take. Read this information carefully and click on Next. You will be asked to choose a range of items to include in the snapshot. If you make use of multi-stores, you will have the options from store and to store. If you do not make use of multi-stores, you will not see these two options. You will also be able to arrange your items by inventory code, inventory category, bin number or barcode. If you select inventory code, bin number or barcode, the from and to will be search options and when you click on the magnifying glass, you will be taken to the inventory zoom screen. Your items will be arranged based on code, bin number or barcode depending on your selection. You will then choose where to begin your range in the from and where to end your range in the to. To select all of your inventory items, leave the from blank and the to filled with Zs. If, however, you select inventory category, the from and to will change from search options to drop down lists. Again, select where to begin your range in the from and where to end your range in the to. To select everything in the from, select your first category and at the to, select your last category. Once you have made your selection, you then need to select whether you wish to include all item types, serialized items only, or non-serialized items only. This is only applicable if you make use of the Serial Number Tracker add-on module. If you do not make use of this add-on module, please select all item types. Once you have made your selection accordingly, click on Next. You will be taken to the Operation Confirmation screen which will advise you of your selection. Click back to change your selection, click cancel to exit your stock take, or click on process to continue. Once you click on process, you will receive a message that the items have been processed in the snapshot and do you wish to take another snapshot. If you click on yes, it will take you back to the previous screen. If you click on no, it will take you through the process of processing a stock take. If you receive a message, all items have been snapshot, you can only click on OK. Once the Operation Complete screen displays, it will advise you of the next steps, which are to physically count each and every item in your store or warehouse, to put these on a count sheet and then to manually enter them into the system. Click on Continue. You can either print the count sheet from Sage Pastel Accounting or create your own count sheets that your employees can use to write down the quantities that they count for each item. Once they have counted all of the quantities, you will then need to enter or edit the physical quantities on hand or import a text or CSV file that contains the physical quantities on hand. If you wish to import your quantities, please refer to the document Importing Inventory Quantities in order to find the necessary layout needed. 
To edit or enter the physical quantities on hand, you have the option to either show items in the snapshot only, or if you deselect this option, it will show all of your inventory items. Click on Next, and you will be taken to the Count Inventory Assistant, where you can physically enter your quantities that you have counted. Enter your physical quantities for each and every line. If you had no quantities on hand, enter zero. If you make use of the Serial Number Tracker add-on module, you will see a column for serial numbers. When you enter the quantity in the Quantities column, you will need to click on the magnifying glass by the Serial Numbers column. This will take you to a screen where you need to physically select the serial numbers to match the number of items that you are bringing into the system or counting. Make sure that the two correspond, and once they correspond, you can continue counting all of your items and entering the count. Click on Next, and you will be taken to the Print a Variance Report. This prints the variance between the theoretical and the physical quantities. This is a very important step, as this can advise you if you have any corruption on your snapshot. Click Next and you will be asked to fill in your different filters. Select your printer option, as well as how to sort your inventory, the start and end, whether you wish to print descriptions or not, show zero variance items or not, show uncaptured items, show items that have not been included in the snapshot, whether you wish to see blocked, unblocked or both, and whether to print the serial numbers if you make use of the serial number tracker add-on module. Select your filters accordingly and click on OK. You can then go and view your report. If you can see the physically counted quantities, the variance thereof, as well as the unit cost and the total cost, your count should process successfully. If, however, the physically entered quantity does not display, this would mean that there is an error in your snapshot and that your stock date will not update correctly. You would then need to close the report and select the option to clear snapshot without updating inventory quantities, run a stock take and then redo the count inventory process. If, however, your report displays correctly and you are happy with the information, you would then update any differences between theoretical and physical quantities and clear the snapshot. Click on Next and you will be asked to select the period and the date that you wish to process the stock take on. Please note that this is very important as certain reports in PAST are period driven while others are date driven. Ensure that the date falls within the correct period and click on Next. You will then be provided with a summary of the action that you are about to process. You can either click on Back to change your options, click on Cancel to exit the count inventory without updating any of the quantities, or click on Process. Once you have clicked on Process, the Operation to Complete screen will display and you can then click on Finish. To ensure that your stock tech updated correctly, click on View, Inventory, Quantities. Again, fill in your filters accordingly, ensuring that you select the period where you process your stock take in. Click on OK and ensure that the quantities have updated accordingly.